Hello, Mioni here, and welcome back to another Final Fantasy XIV video. This time we're going to take a look at the new server backup system and how it works. So in short, patch 4.45 has enabled the long-awaited backup function on the character select menu of the game when you log into your data center. This function is currently only enabled for PC and Mac users during the beta, however the system will be the exact same the PlayStation 4 users will get, and PS4 users will be able to use this feature at a later date in another patch. So, next to both the character name and the new character button at the top right of the screen will be these cogs. Characters have a hollow person icon and a cog, and the other one is just cogs. First, let's look at the client settings button, which is at the top of the screen. In short, this cog button will allow you to go into a menu where you're able to agree to the terms of the beta of this function and then list the sort of things that can now be backed up to the server. The client settings include the gamepad and mouse settings, your movie cutscene preferences, such as automatically skipping ones you've already seen, or whatever settings you have for that enabled, any visual alerts and colour filters you have enabled on your client, and also the shared macros you have across characters. All of these settings can be uploaded to the servers, and you can re-upload a new version of these settings if you wish every 23 hours. Simply press upload, wait a while until the tick appears, and then it's ready to press OK to upload and boom, your settings are uploaded to the server. You could go back into that same menu and click the download button on a new PC to download those settings, but as you can see here, the existing data is the same on record, so it won't let me download it until there's any changes. Next up, the character settings. It's the same thing, only you click onto the cog next to the character that you wish to back up. The settings that you can back up for your character include gamepad and mouse settings for that character, your full HUD layout and size settings, your hotbars and cross hotbars for all classes and jobs on that character, your gear sets and their numbers, any shortcut key settings that you have set up on that character, your chat filter preferences and tabs, your individual character macros, your triple triad decks that you have customized in the gold saucer, and finally your friend list, group names and contact list. The same thing is done again, you simply hit the upload button, wait for it to load, hit OK and boom you're backed up. It's as simple as that. Again this has another 23 hour cooldown on your uploads, so make sure you're happy with your settings before you actually upload them. And then you can download these settings from the same cog menu at any time like before. You'll just notice that once they're backed up, that hollow person will turn into a white filled out person icon instead, notifying that there is settings backed up for that character and the other character there hasn't, and that's a way you can identify those as well. So this is fundamentally the best quality of life change of the patch, and probably one of the best we've had for quite some time. If you move between PCs often, or say your hard drive fails and you have to start all again with new data and installs, that's happened to me several times so far, at least now you can download the data that's saved for your character and the client as soon as you log in from the servers. Once the PlayStation 4 version version of this feature comes out, this will indeed allow you to have the same UI on both machines and then back them up and download them depending on what you want to play, which is absolutely excellent. There's still no news on when the PS4 version is set to come out, but judging how smooth it's running currently on the PC beta test, I would imagine fairly soon. Either way, I thought this was worth taking a look at, it seems to be very worth your time to do, and a quick backup now and again, just in case, is going to give you peace of mind. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.